But now we're going to do a vector product, otherwise known as a cross product. Cross product is like torque, where only the perpendicular components matter. So if this is the pivot, this is what's known as R, the distance from the pivot, and this is your force. Well, only the perpendicular force provides torque. The parallel force just pulls on the pivot. So now we're looking for perpendicular components. I've moved this over here so that we can use that when necessary to define our distance, find our directions. Well, now I'm going to do what the kids call FOIL. I'm going to take the 4, multiply it by everything, because I'm doing A cross B. And that's a multiplication, but only perpendicular multiplication. So 4 times the 2 is irrelevant, because I cross I is 0. They're not perpendicular. So first thing I'm going to do is 4 i hat cross 3 j hat plus 4 k hat and then I'm going to do plus, well I guess I can do minus there, 2 j hat cross negative 2 i hat plus 4 k hat, that appears to be in my way, we'll see if I get lucky, minus 6 k hat cross negative 2 i hat plus 3j hat. This is where it's going to be a matter of you have to keep straight what you're doing. So, I'm going to cross these two first. Four, and I'm going to do this first by just the numbers, and then I'm going to do the vectors. This is probably going to be in my way. So, 4 times 3 is 12. I hat cross j hat plus 4 times 4, which is 16. I hat cross k hat minus 2 times 2 is 4, j hat cross i hat, negative 8, j hat cross k hat, positive 12, k hat cross i hat, and then negative 18, k hat cross j hat. Okay, so here we go. What's i cross j? Take your fingers, point it in the, in the direction of i first, then curl it in the direction of J. Now notice my hand does not curl this way. So I have to curl, I move my wrist, I cross J gives me K. So this gives me 12 K hat. Plus 16 times whatever this is. Well, I cross K. I cross K. I can't, again, I can't curl my hand that way. So I have to turn it around. I cross K gives me negative j hat. So that gives me negative 16 j hat. j cross i. j cross i negative k. I'm just going to draw these underneath here. Let's just do all of these. j cross k. j notice I'm having to move my body. j cross k i hat k cross i. k cross i is j. k cross j. k cross j, negative i hat. So now I can very easily go, this is 4 times negative k, negative 4 k hat, negative 8 i hat, 12 j hat, plus 18 i hat. I'm going to gather like terms. There's 10 i hat, j and j, which gives me negative 4 j hat, and that gives me positive 4, nope, that was an i, I almost did wrong. 4 and 12, that gives me positive 8 k hat. This is the value of a cross b in ijk notation. Go back to my units. Well, I had them last time because we're doing torque, newtons, and meters. What about the magnitude? Well, the magnitude of this is again going to be x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Take the square root. And I get 13.4. 
This time, Newton meters does not equal joules because they're perpendicular. Over here, we got joules because they were parallel. Now notice our dot product of those same vectors was bigger than our cross product. This means that these two vectors are more parallel than perpendicular. So one of the things that I did here that I haven't done before was writing these just under here and doing them just that way. I think that made it very, very easy. All right, thank you.